Montana. Big Sky Country. The treasure state. Welcome to Montana. There's no parking here. Where I'm from, they call this self-defense. <laughs> man, what a handsome man. Blow it up. Get rid of it. We don't want to see it. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Get him, cheeseburger. Yeah, hell yeah. It's so much fun, man. I won't come back later, dude. Fuck night. I was worried I'd get bored. I was blind, but now I see. Far Cry 5, my favorite installment in the Far Cry franchise, where we go to Big Sky Montana, where we have the unfortunate job of taking down an entire cult, and all of the brothers, and sisters, and leader, and bears, and peggies, and helicopters. The main antagonist of the game? Joseph Seed. They call him the father. Probably one of the most evil people I have ever come across in any video game I've ever played but but it that doesn't matter now after crashing our helicopter and getting chased through the woods and getting in a truck i got my first trophy road gunner which was kill 25 enemies while leaning out of a vehicle oh hello i got road gunner after all that was done we liberated Dutch's island to kick things off in far cry 5 nice this was where we ran into uh our first brother of the game john seed where all he knows how to do is say the word one word yes now where john only knows the word yes i only know one word as well boom yeah that's what i live for right there now while montana may look beautiful it's still you know a little dangerous every now and again Hey, buddy. Oh! <laughs> Usually things filled with gas tend to explode. Each region, you have to cause enough chaos to make the Seed family notice you. And, you know, every now and again, you cause just enough chaos, and then they just kind of capture you. I don't know why they didn't just do this at the start of the game, but, like, getting shot with a bliss bullet, it's not exactly the most fun time. Don't kill him. Use a bliss bullet. Bliss bullet. Wait, I'm not ready. Shoot him with the no, wait, I'm not ready. No! No, wait, no, I wasn't ready. After being captured by the Peggies, we were saved by a character named Pastor Jerome, who then led us through a checkpoint where, in the middle of this, I, I pride myself as a true marksman. I earned a trophy called Ghost Kill, where you had to kill one enemy with a rifle or a bow from 150 meters or more. And of, and of course, me being me, I did it with my first shot. Hell yeah! In the midst of exploring John C's region after being captured by him in my hopes to find him one day and uh, and have a very uh, friendly conversation, I helped out some of the locals and I drove through several checkpoints as fast as humanly possible, like I'm Clutch Nixon. And I completed three side missions for yet another trophy. Oh, hey, one now. I have three side missions. I right, sick. Deputy hunting. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, I'm good. No, you're not. No, sorry. No bliss bullet. Not for me. I just wanted to go fishing, man. In conclusion, John Seed is an asshole. And after putting down all of his peggies in his bunker, well, I guess not all of them, but we'll get there. I found him. I found Hudson, where he told me my sin was wrath, like I really care. And then I got up out of there. And now. I can fish in peace. After causing even more chaos in John's region, he then tells me that he captured all my friends at Falls End. So me being the good deputy that I am as a rookie, I drove all the way down to Falls End just to get hit in the face. Basically told 
I ain't shit. So I shot him in his ear. He ran away to his bunker. I figured this is my only chance to save Deputy Hudson. So I go chase him down to his hangar. I shoot him out of his plane. I go get his key after telling him no, because that's his least favorite word. I said no like one time, man. Relax. I go to his bunker. I go kill everyone. I go escape. I blow it up. And I take my trophy. Hell yeah. And that's the end of John Seed. I figured now that John Seed is dead and long gone, we can have a little more peace in John's region. So, you know, I went and I helped Larry with his project that he was doing. He had me collect a bunch of alien parts. He had me teleport him to Mars where I got a little sneak peek at, at the aliens. Oh, the aliens. Wait, oh, hey, 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 hey. hey. Got this weird looking gun, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda looks like a it kinda looks like a jet gun. <laughs> After all this, I went and I helped Nick and his wife, Kim, or I drove across a chaos filled Montana to go help them give birth to a daughter that we will run into at a later time. I think I know who that is. And then I figured we could just go to Jacob's region now. But before we go to Jacob's region, I I have something I want to do first. The Far Cry 5 arcade has a couple trophies. It has about six trophies in here. And this is where trying to platinum this game in 2024 becomes kind of an issue because me personally, I love the Far Cry arcade. I think it's one of the best additions to Far Cry 5 because it is very, very different from the game. There's just one issue. A lot of it is online only and this game is kind of dead. Luckily, in my case, I had to just make a little social call, you? and we got these trophies done in no time. <laughs> At some point during the arcade games that we were having, things got a little weird. I grew this very strong obsession to one simple character. The Pumpkin King. Pumpkin King. Only a matter of time until the Pumpkin King finds you. Pumpkin King will find you. You'll get blammed. You've been blammed. <laughs> <laughs> I set myself on fire. You guys arrived. What are you talking about? I don't know. How, I don't know how you lived, but the Pumpkin King will always come back with vengeance in his heart and get blammed. <laughs> you will now get blammed by the Pumpkin King. I found a weapon of mass destruction. So about the weapon of mass destruction, the Pumpkin King always. They said it was strong. I didn't think it was gonna be one shot strong. At some point, I think the insanity of the arcade and, and me saying the Pumpkin King was genuinely making me go insane. Well, the Pumpkin King loves to enjoy. <laughs> I picked the wrong class. Fuck, no matter, because it's the Pumpkin King. <laughs> <laughs> No matter because the pump when I do find you as the as the former pumpkin king it will simply be game over this is the pumpkin kings who really tired of saying the pumpkin king the same way the pumpkin king has different plans no way the pumpkin king has found something that he enjoys very much no I want it yes the pumpkin king has found something interesting the Pumpkin King did not make it. <laughs> Catch. We both had the same idea. <laughs> How the fuck did we have the same idea? I'm level 10. I just need 10 more levels for the Pumpkin King. God, I can't wait until this arcade section's done so I can stop saying fucking Pumpkin King. Things got a little wicked in the arcade and disappeared. You're sliding. What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on. What the fuck? So after doing 10 feature maps, killing my friend a hundred times, and then reaching level 20 in the arcade, the Pumpkin King. No. Sorry. Uh, I jumped back into the main story to complete the rest of the trophies. I could stop worrying about online trophies in a single player game, in a game that's dead, not supported, and 
Uh, sorry, I got a little passionate there. The only other online trophy I needed was to complete three quests with a friend, and that was about it for all of the, you know, online stuff. In a single player game, in a game that's dead, it's not supported anymore. I figured before I jumped into Jacob's region, I would enjoy the finer things in life, like going fishing to sell 20 fish on the market. Oh, hey, let's go. Talking to 50 citizens of Hope County to see what they want me to do, shoot, or jump off of. And I spent $1,000 on clothes just to keep an old joke running. Oh, snow. I got a trophy. The Pumpkin King is now back. I spent $1,000 on clothing. This mask cost me $9,000. The Pumpkin King lives again. <laughs> I even got to bond with my friend Herc. We exploded a lot of shit together. If I had made this video and didn't mention the game's mascot, I'd be doing a disservice to the most popular bear in all of Montana, Cheeseburger. Oh shit. Cheeseburger. Let's go, cheeseburger. You're not taking my bear. Hell yeah. Get him, cheeseburger. Yeah, hell yeah. I think we did good, cheeseburger. I heard you found cheeseburger. As long as he's with you, I know he's safe. Just remember, don't actually feed him cheeseburgers. Because, you know, he's got the diabetes. I think the only thing adventurous about Jacob's region other than getting a literal gigantic grizzly bear as a friend was getting brainwashed, shooting Eli, and then almost getting brainwashed, and then shooting Jacob. Oh, Lord have mercy. My brother saw all this coming. I don't know if he talks to God. That doesn't matter. He was right. And then going to his bunker and blowing that one up too. So now that's John's bunker and Jacob's bunker. And then we got that trophy. If I ever hear only you one more time, I might lose it. Now it was time to actually take down Faith, the final sibling in the seed family other than Joseph. But I figured I should, I should knock out all of the fun stuff before I have to knock out the rest of the family so i went fishing and i unlocked the fourth and final f fishing rod called betsy well catch me my small mouth bass right here yeah been there done that that's all the hunting and fishing challenges i'm pretty sure that was the heaviest small mouth bass in the state which means i think there it is yes fire all four fishing rods let me go get it let me go get it there you go oh betsy there was one trophy where you had to destroy four vehicles with one bomb from a plane that is very specific luckily this is a ubisoft game so there is a way to cheese this by just spawning four cars spawning a plane and blowing up everything within a 50 foot radius and park this one right here okay now we're gonna get real up close and personal and i just realized i am missing th two of the cars here okay cars are back well i'm missing one hang on okay vehicles are back we're good this time it's gonna work okay all we gotta do is i'm gonna get way too close i'm going to get uncomfortably close here and there goes nothing I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. I think we're good. Hey, cheeseburger. Wanna like, I can't see anything. I think I'm actually dead. I'm a goner. Oh, thank you, cheeseburger. Herc is, Herc's a goner. Yeah, Herc. <laughs> I was in luck because this game does have a trophy that involves a collectible fetch quest, but they did it correctly because all I had to do was get one of each and not all of them like some games that make me go find close to 473 different goddamn objects that i don't have that's it right there there you go 
That should be one of each collectible. There you go. And then I got myself a big old cougar. Not the ones that, that you bring home when you're super drunk at night. No, not that one. An actual living, breathing, four-legged big cat that had the tendency to slaughter everything in its path. Well, with the exception of me and Cheeseburg. Follow me. We're, we're just going to throw all these. Wait, where is Peaches? Hey, Peaches. Uh, it's always something with you guys. It's always something with the poachers. God, at least take a cheeseburger. Go, you big cat. Get in there. Yeah. Yeah. Peaches and cheeseburger. That's how we roll. That's how we roll around here. After that was done, I paid homage to the greatest SOB that ever lived, Clutch Nixon. I did one of his stunts in each region. Hell yeah, greatest SOB that ever lived, Clutch Nixon. And then thanks to Faith and her uh, medicine, we'll use the word medicine, called The Bliss, all of the water was contaminated and I'm, I'm sure some people from a certain, you know, town in Michigan can probably relate to this topic. So I had to go clean that water. I'm going to be honest, it really didn't do anything because after you do this mission, the water's still kind of contaminated. Oh, boy. There you go. You can stop the water, but you can't stop the blood. Yes, I can. Works for me. I still need to run over 20 enemies with a vehicle. Hey, there you go. Hey, there's another one. Oh, the bliss is affecting me. I feel a little woozy. Oh, I'm sorry, Peaches. There you go. Okay, I got it. I explained it last year in the Callisto protocol. I'm explaining it now. What's the first thing you want to do? Upgrade your goddamn weapons. Oh, I already, okay. Well, that <laughs> sick. Uh, all the attachments for one weapon. That was easy. There was another trophy where you had to destroy 10 planes in an aerial vehicle. But the discovery that I made was, well, one, you can cheese it. And two, you couldn't do it in a helicopter. You had, you couldn't, you, you couldn't, you couldn't use an aerial vehicle to destroy a plane, even though a helicopter is what the fuck okay so it had to be in a i had to be flying a plane not a helicopter because a helicopter is not an aerial vehicle the thing that flies upward is not an aerial vehicle the thing that flies is not an aerial vehicle the vehicle that goes in the air is not aerial vehicle we're close to the end now we had to get the last couple miscellaneous trophies i couldn't go to faith's region at this point i had made her so unbelievably angry if i even set one foot in her region she was going to take me in immediately the last things i had to do before confronting faith i had to fly a total of 5,000 meters in a wingsuit you'll get this over time as you play the game because you use the wingsuit a lot in Far Cry. I had to distract 15 enemies with rocks or cans. I chose rocks because I just carry a bunch of rocks in my pocket everywhere I go. Okay, thank God. And then after four hours of fishing and hunting, I spent $50,000 on vehicles and vehicles alone oh my god oh my god oh my god it was time to confront faith seed where she gave me the best fight in the entire game this felt like something out of straight up bloodborne only you know i had explosives hey that's a boss fight that's a boss fight arena. Yeah, we're not doing this. We, we, uh, I'm here for one reason. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to hit one of these rockets and it's game over. The LMG. After dealing with Faith, I went to her bunker, which was 
probably the prettiest looking bunker but also like it was really really bliss filled so it wasn't the nicest feeling experience but it definitely looked pretty nice moose we blew up her bunker like we did to everybody else you look like hell yeah well i feel like it too my family my brothers my sisters they've been taken from me by a snake in the garden <laughs> We gotta kill that crazy son bitch. And at this point, Joseph Seed finally gave in. So we went to his church, confronted him, where he made my friends turn on me. And the lamb broke the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black, and the moon's under blood. And then I whipped out two guns. They will die for me. Oh, I'm sure they will. You know what is crazy about all this? Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Yeah, we can all, we can all do this. Shotgun. I have no problem shooting my friends. I've played Siege. And then I made them turn on him. You have to believe me. I do find it ironic knowing the ending we probably should have just never sh shot him here and then this went from a far cry game to a fallout game and i heard a great voice from the temple say to the angels go your ways and pour from the vials the wrath of god upon the earth <laughs> And then we drove the fuck out of there as two more nukes dropped. I think a third one dropped after the first one. We went to Dutch's bunker and then we we got we got captured by Joseph Seed. And actually, surprise to surprise, this was the last trophy that we needed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna hold this here. I am your father. And you are my child. And together we will march to Eden's gate. There you go. That's the timing I wanted. That was that was that that was that just Man, I love Far Cry 5. That was the platinum for Far Cry 5 where we got to explore the beautiful Big Sky state of Big Sky Montana and I would 100% run through Montana a third time. This is the second time I've platinumed this game and I'll do it again. Don't underestimate me. I'll do it again. I I'll do it again. I'll go through all, all of the only use one more time. This was, this Far Cry is something special to me. It is my favorite Far Cry. And unfortunately, after this Far Cry, we had one that was a little, <laughs> no. And then we had one after that Far Cry that was a lot of, <laughs> no. So maybe I'll go in Platinum Far Cry New Dawn and Far Cry 6, and maybe we'll go back in time and hit up Far Cry 3, maybe 4, because because unfortunately Far Cry 4 falls under the list of online trophies in a single player game. We will get there in the future. But for now, I have spread enough chaos in Montana for one video. We will return to montana in the future but for now the next time you see me i will be a licensed democracy spreader <laughs>